Last week my dad showed me these films, and I couldn't imagine what this disgusting video was all about. Then he told me how an invasive algae called Lingbia had taken over the beautiful springs and waters of Kings Bay and Crystal River. I had never seen anything like this when I grew up on Kings Bay and swam in these pristine, clear waters surrounded by wildlife and amazing manatees. You see, at age 11, after nine and a half years in Florida's foster care system, I was placed with a pre-adoptive family that lived in a beautiful waterfront home on Kings Bay. A few months later, I was adopted and attended Crystal River Middle and Crystal River High School. My dad encouraged me to do a science project every year, and these generally revolved around the beautiful river and the environment. I got help from the Southwest Florida Water Management District to do tests for fecal coliform and septic system leakage, and at least two of my projects made it to the state finals. In 2004, just 11 years ago, I graduated with honors and went off to Eckerd College in St. Pete. Even before I graduated college, my writing career began to take off, and then I was sent on the road. I eventually got married, and my husband and I are now living in St. Pete, and we're foster and adoptive parents too. So when my dad showed me how horribly our beloved Kings Bay had deteriorated in what seems like just a few short years, I was shocked. But now I'm encouraged to learn that the citizens of Citrus County are not sitting idly by and letting their formerly pristine waterways go down the drain. To my relief, concerned people, individuals, businesses, nonprofits, and others have been working frantically for more than two years to overcome incredible obstacles just to get the necessary permits to begin to clean the nasty algae off our river bottom. Even better, they've developed a plan to replant and nurture the original species of grasses that help ward off the hideous lingbia in the future. But cleaning up our once beautiful river is about much more than just pretty looking water. Our rapidly increasing population of manatees can't eat lingbia, and this scourge is choking off their critical food supply. Nature-based tourism is a vital piece of our economy, but one encounter with this dreaded algae is enough to turn them and their acquaintances away for good. Lost revenues are terrible for any city, county, or state. Local citizens have demonstrated their support by repeatedly volunteering to manually clean out lingbia in shallow areas. But in deeper locations where accumulations have reached several feet thick, specially developed harvesters are presently being used to lift the lingbia. The lingbia becomes beneficial to farmers as an excellent natural fertilizer and mulch. In this pilot program, vacuums will be used to remove the deeper muck from the sandy bottom and restore the freshwater spring flow. Finally, native aquatic plants will be planted and protected to maintain the healthy, natural ecosystem. I now have three children of my own. We love coming to Crystal River to see my parents, and soon my kids will want to be out on the water, fishing with their grandpa and swimming with the manatees just like I did. Growing up in Citrus County is a way of life that we must never lose for future generations. Thank goodness there are so many citizens and organizations coming to the rescue of our outstanding Florida waterway. But there is no way we can do all of this work without state funding. This project stands to become a model to help other waterfront communities clean up and restore their waterways. We're grateful to the Florida Legislature for supporting Amendment 1, and we really need a yes vote for the Save Crystal River Kings Bay Pilot Restoration Project. This is a permit-ready public-private partnership with enormous returns for us, the great state of Florida, and our many visitors from all around the world.